Hi hey everyone, Disturbed Shadow here, and I'm here to bring you my first brand new album review of 2015. We're going to start off the year with what I think might be a contender for one of the best albums of the year. I'm calling it this early, but this album is just so good, which is the brand new fourth record from the, the British thrash metal band Silosis, and it's just fucking good album, I'm just going to say that. I was expecting it to be good, but it kind of blew me away with how good it was. This is actually the first time I've listened to a full Silosis album. I've heard a few songs, well, I've, I've purchased a few songs after I saw them open for Lamb of God a couple years ago, and I've sort of been casually following them, but with this album, I think I might go back and actually check out their full discography, because there's just so much good stuff on this album, and I just want to hear more from this band, because, wow, it's just simply a really good album. So, uh, let's just dive in and talk about some of what makes this album so good. So the first track I really want to talk about is track number two, Victims and Pawns, which is sort of the first full length song. There's a shorter intro song, which is only a couple minutes long. This one's the full five minute length song, and it's just a really good, there's all these cool thrashy riffs going out throughout the whole song, and all these cool shreddy bits. So it's just a really good way to uh, introduce the album, ignoring that, uh, Intro track was just sort of an introduction to the album, whereas this is the first full song and it's just a really good album. Track number three, which is the title track, Dormant Heart, which is just another really good song. It's got this cool melodic bit in the beginning and then it reprises it at the end and there's just a bunch of cool thrashy stuff happening in between that. Track number four, To Build a Tomb, which is just a really thrashy song throughout the whole throughout the whole track. It's just really good song. There's not much else to say about it, but there's just really cool stuff happening. Uh, I do want to mention in that song, the drums are just unstoppable, and they're just constantly going insane on that track. It's just a really good track. Track number five, Overthrown, which has a bunch of really cool thrashing stuff throughout the song, and then in the middle, it has this really cool melodic bit, where Josh actually does some uh, clean singing, which is sort of interesting, because they don't do a lot of that in their music, and it's just... It's just a little melodic singing part in the beginning. I can't really tell if there's actual lyrics or not, if it's just vocalizations, but it just sounds really good, and I think it's a cool way to mix it up. And then there's some more melodic stuff later in the song, so I just think it's a, a cool way that the song progresses. Track number five, I mean track number six, sorry, which is the, one of the first tracks that released on this album ahead of its release, which is Leech, which I think is just a really good song. It's got this really cool melodic riff that just keeps going throughout the whole song. It just pulls you into the song. It's just a really catchy riff. And there's all this crazy heavy stuff happening behind that. And I just, the way the song comes together is really good. And it's one of my personal favorite tracks on the album. Track number seven, and I'm going through most of these tracks, but there's cool bits in all of them I want to get to. So track number seven, Servitude, just has this really cool, groovy, heavy, slow riff that just chugs along throughout this whole song. It's just a really cool riff that really caught my attention. Track number nine, Harm. This song just has a really cool progression to it. It starts off really heavy, and then it, towards the end, it just gets really melodic, and there's all these harmonization parts, and just all these cool stuff happening on the guitar. And then Justice, again, reprises some uh, clean singing towards the end. It's just a little cool way to mix up the music a bit. Track number 10, Mercy, which was another track that released ahead of time, which was a pretty interesting track in that Josh actually does some deep, really deep, clean singing in, in the chorus, it's just, it has a really low and like, but yet yeah, very melodic voice, it just has that really low bass sound to it, it's just really cool the way he does that, and I think it's a cool way to mix up the music, because like I said in the previous tracks, Silosis doesn't really do a lot of parts with clean singing, and when they do occur, it's interesting and it mixes things up a bit, and a lot of people didn't really like this song, but I thought this was a really good song. It's not the best on the album, but it's still a really solid track. The last track I want to talk about is the last track, track number 12, Quiescent. I think I'm saying that right. I looked up how to pronounce that, but I'm not sure. Anyway, this song is really, really, really different from anything I've previously seen from a Silosis song. It's slow, it's mostly acoustic throughout the whole song, there's minimal drums, and it's mostly clean singing. It's very interesting way to end this album because it's not a typical style of this track, but it's still a really cool song where Josh shows off his melodic vocals and it's just really interesting. Towards the end of the song, the more melodic guitar playing comes in and then Josh does some screaming at the end, but the majority of this song is 
clean singing, and I thought that was a really interesting thing, and it's really different. Coupled with the fact that it's mostly acoustic, which is also something you don't see a lot from Psyosis, to make a really interesting way to close up the album. I think it's an interesting choice to close up the album, but it's not a bad choice, because it, it's a really cool track. So, overall, it's a really cool song, despite being really different from what you previously heard from Psyosis, or what you would expect to hear from Psyosis. And I think that it's just an interesting track. So, now let's get in and talk about the actual band members and what they're doing. So, let's see here. Alex and Josh on guitars are doing some amazing stuff. There's all these ridiculously fast, thrashy riffs throughout the whole thing. And all these really cool, shredding, melodic guitar bits where Josh really shows off his guitar chops. And he's just shredding all over the guitar. It's just so amazing. And there's all these parts with harmonizations, like I said, in harm, where there's this cool melodic harmonized part towards the end of the song that's just really catchy. And then the solo work is just phenomenal. There's all these cool melodic solos and the more shreddy solos, and the, they work really well together and it just comes off as a really fantastic guitar playing. It's just so good. And it's present in every track. There's all this crazy guitar stuff that just it's what you'd expect from Silos. It's just that fast, heavy, crunchy, thrashy stuff that's just constantly in your face. Carl on bass, there's a lot of moments I can't really hear the bass, where maybe with headphones it's more, a little more easier to pick out, but just through the speakers it's kind of hard to hear the bass. But he's doing a good job keeping up with how fast Josh and Alex are going on the guitars, and he's doing cool stuff on the bass. But my one gripe is that, like I said, it's kind of hard to hear sometimes. And then the new drummer, Rob, on drums. Well, obviously the drummer's on drums, sorry. Anyway, he's doing a fantastic job, and he just fits right along with uh, everyone else in the band. He's doing an amazing job. There's all these relentless, fast, crazy technical drum bits throughout the whole thing, and it's always changing, always mixing things up, changing what he's doing on the drums, slowing down, picking up speed, and it's always matching with what the guitars and the bass are doing. It's just really good drumming, and it's never boring, and it's always doing something new and interesting throughout every song, so he's doing a good job, and he's a great addition to uh, to the band. Actually, looking here, he's not the current drummer, actually. Sorry, I messed that up. So, looking at this, he worked on some of the... Actually, never mind. He worked on most of the tracks, I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, whoever did the drumming on this did a good job. It's either him or uh, the Allie Richardson from Bleed From Within, apparently. That's what Wikipedia says. Sorry, I didn't try research ahead of time, but I just wanted to jump into this album because it's so good. So, whichever one of them was doing drums, maybe it was both of them. Either way, they're both doing... Whoever did it did a fantastic job on drums, like I said. And if it's the new guy doing a good job with Silosis, and it's the old guy, he's just doing as well as he always has been with Silosis. So, like I said, drumming's good. All the musicianship is good, and you should definitely check this album out. If you haven't listened to Silos before, this is a good jumping on point, and I highly recommend checking out some of their older stuff. I haven't listened to all their full albums, but I've listened to tracks off all their previous albums, and they're definitely worth checking out. And this one is checking out, and this album is going to be one of the best ones of 2015, I'm calling it now, because this is just such a good album. And I think that Silos is definitely going to get more attention with each release, because they're just doing a fantastic job with every album. And this is a really good album, and... Like I said, go listen to it. It's really good. Now, I'll see you guys next week when I pick up back again with the Threat Signals of Discography. Until then, I'll see you guys later.